Welcome back to another episode of Don't Pick the Box. Today I have another uh, Zenpop stationery box for you. Again, uh, to my great regret, I have to say that this is the second time I'm trying to film the unboxing of this particular box. Uh, because once again, for some particular reason, uh, the first time I film a Zenpop unboxing, uh, the sound does not want to cooperate. Um, again, my apologies, some things have already been unpacked, um, but nonetheless, I hope I will be able to show you exactly how enthusiastic I am, because once again, it's a really, really nice, great, super cute box. Um, and now, without further ado, let's show you what's inside. I will, as with the previous box, um, just try to read uh, on the um, what it says on the menu paper. I'm saying menu because some of these subscription boxes actually call this a menu. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to call it um, otherwise. Um, just to be clear, this is the uh, November box. I know it comes very quickly after the... Um, October box, that's entirely my doing because I wanted to show you the October box as close as possible to Halloween, but actually it arrived a lot earlier than last week. This did arrive last week, so I'm filming it for you this week. Um, and the team for this box is Sumiko Bakery. Um, it also already uh, mentions that Sumiko means corner and the animals or the, the type of stuff that we have are sumiko gurashi which means a sort of cute little animal that is very shy and lives in the corner everywhere um, and now let's get to it first of all we have a sumiko sumiko gurashi memo pad which is this It comes in two designs. These and, oh, and this. Um, apparently, there's four different designs of um, of the memo pad, and each pad has two different designs again. So, oh, and it has 100 sheets, so that's quite a lot. Um, and it's super, super cute, really super, super, super cute, super cute. Next we have a Sumiko Gurashi pencil. Um, when I first opened the box, I made a big show of sharpening it. It wasn't sharpened when I got it. Again, this comes in four different designs and I got a um, pale pink one, where, which I'm very happy with because I super love pink. Um, and I made a big show of uh, sharpening this. Focus. Focus. No focus. Um, what I'm also quite happy about is that it's a 2B pencil. But this doesn't want to focus, focus, please focus. Oh, now it says 2B. Which is quite extraordinary because usually if you get like, um, I'm not saying this is a novelty pencil, but when you get like a pencil like this that's not specifically designed or of a, of a sketching or, or drawing brand, you usually get an HP. So I'm really happy with the 2B because the 2B is actually my favorite um, pencil hardness. Um, yeah, and for the rest it's a pencil, so there's not too much to say about that. Next, because you already sh saw a little of that, we got Sumiko Gurashi pencil caps. Apparently it's a habit in Japan to put caps on pencils, uh, not to prevent them from drying out, but actually to prevent them 
from uh, from points breaking and from um, from um, getting your pen case dirty. We got um, five colors, all of them with those cute rashi things. And now I'm going to put the pale palest pink back onto my pencil because it looks very cute that way. And that way my pencil is also protected. Boop. Um, next we have a Sumiko Gurashi. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Gurashi eraser set. It's this. Again, there's uh, two possible designs. One with toasts and little, um, I don't know. I sort of guessed that this was like ham salad and cheese, but I'm not sure if that's what it's been supposed to mean. So there's two different designs, ones with a baguette like I have and the other ones with toast, which I don't have. Um, the baguette seems quite happy and so I'm, I'm don't miss the toast. Um, it's cute anyway. And then lastly for this side of the page we have a I Love Kawaii pen right. It's uh, by Pentel, so it's probably going to be very good. It's a 0.7 and it has like a ballpoint point. Um, we will be swatching this alongside the other um, materials. Um, but for now, I can tell you that I'm already very excited about the color because it's pink and I love pink. And because of this clip, because if you can see it properly, you see it has a um, like a sort of it's not just um, a clip but it actually has like um, a spring in it so it can really clip big things I think I could even get away with putting this in my hair uh, I'm not going to try it but I think I would get away with it so um, and also it says on the page that this was specifically made for Zen Pop by uh, Pentel. Um, which is a really... I didn't know they were Japanese in fact, but I've known the brand for a very long time, it's good quality. So I'm looking forward to this pen. Next we have a Fusen Magnet bookmark. Um, so it's this already. I'm in love because it's so super cute. I'm going to unclip it from the it's paper holder. So it looks like this. And it's like a dog on a picnic, I think. Um, and Fusen is apparently these little tabs um, of paper that you can just pull out and stick in a book if you want to bookmark something for later and not just want to show uh, how far you got. Next, and the thing that immediately got uh, my attention when I first opened the box is this washi tape. Um, it's sort of transparent, so I'm not sure if you can see it very clearly, uh, but it's a uh, Pikachu in a bakery. It's also the name of the washi tape. It's Pikachu Pan. And since I also already researched this, the first time I filmed this, Pan means bread, so it's a uh, swashy tape of Pikachu baking. Baking all sorts of things like Pikachu shaped pretzels and loaves of cinnamon buns. Really cute. Next we have a Zig Art and Graphic Twin um, with a felt brush on the one side and a small fine bullet tip on the other side. Um, I feel like I kind of drew the short straw on this one, not because of the pen itself, but because it says they came in six seasonal autumn colors and I got brown. Whereas I would have actually preferred any of the other colors, which are scarlet red, deep green, green olive, mustard, and natural gray. But um, 
I mean, it's a, it's a brush pen, so I'll probably find some use for it. And we will also be swatching this later, so we'll see then whether I like it or not. Mm -mm -mm. Almost lastly, but if you watched my video last week, you know I, how much a fan I am of stickers, so I'm going to show this first. We have a sheet of stickers with all sorts of bakery goods fitting into the pan team. And the cute thing is, um, the names of the, the bakery items are are put on the on the packaging. So that's kind of neat. Then, last item uh, listed on the menu is this Happy Foods mini joint stamp. And one advantage I have, because I already filmed this, is now, now I already know how it opens and I will show you. It's like with a twist of the cap and then pull and then you have the stamp. Um, again, this we will be swatching this in just a minute, so a little patience, because this uh, pack has one more item, uh, which we didn't find on the menu and which I didn't find in the last box I got from Zenfop, but we have a sticker of Luna, the mascot of Zenfop. This is Luna. Here's the sticker of Luna. And it's really cute with like sort of rainbow uh, lining. So I'm uh, thinking about a good way, place to put this. Maybe somewhere on my desk. Who knows? Now, let's get swatching. Wait, first, I will repack everything that doesn't need to be squashed. Just so I don't lose anything. Um, put this box aside. This is about as close up as it gets, but I will show, I will bring it closer to the camera uh, once I'm done swatching. First of all, the pencil. As I said, uh, I prefer a 2B and I'm going to show you why, because um, it's still relatively hard, so you can get a fine line if you want. But it's also excellent for like clumsier lines. If you move it fast enough, you get a, a really nice grey tone. But if you want, you can also get like a dark gradient. I know this applies to every pencil, but a 2B is for me the perfect balance between these. Um, of course, this isn't necessarily so for everyone, but for me it is, so I'm really happy with this one. And how cute is it that you get a pencil cap? Um, I hope all of my other pencils are just as slim as this pencil, so I can put on caps on all of them now that I have them. Um, next, we have the um, Zen Pop I Love Kawaii pen. Um, apart from the fact that it's super cute, this is nothing spectacular. Um, it writes really well. I'm guessing the paper I'm using is a little too thick. Um, so I am going to have to make sure I have some smoother paper um, beside me when I do another unboxing because I've already noticed before that the paper I'm using is kind of thick and it doesn't work really well with ball points or gel pens which is kind of sad because it doesn't bring out the best in the pen that I want to show you uh, but other than that yeah I mean it it's a good pen then we have the art and graphic twin Uh, 
Um, the color is kind of nice. I've I did expect it to be a little more red than it actually is. Um, so this might come in handy after all for shading um, or maybe even line art, but I don't do a lot of line art with bullet pens. I usually do that with a fine liner. Might might take a while, but I'll work with it. And then lastly, the uh, happy food stamps. There's four designs, so um, let's check them all out. Firstly, we have a pink cupcake. Really cute. Secondly, we have a orange sort of sandwich triangle. Really cute. Next, we have a blue drink, some sort of slurpy or frozen yogurt type of thing. And lastly, we have a brown piece of toast. Um, they all have a smiley face. I'm going to show it to you now. Um, a little closer. I'm not sure if this is... I should turn it around because... I, uh, I should have lined them up. They're not all in the same direction. But I hope you can see how really cute and detailed these are. I'm quite impressed with the level of detail because as you can see this is really really a really small stamp like smaller than a fingernail and I don't have huge hands so this is it's really quite tiny um, but the detail is also is also quite uh, spectacular um, I'm going to show you a close-up of the pens and ball points put this away and I will leave you with closing this box as I usually do and I will see you um, not next week um, well I will see you next week but not with an unboxing video the next unboxing will happen somewhere halfway November but there will be other videos so um, check it out and otherwise it will be s yeah somewhere halfway November bye